Hey there, Dolphin Nation. I'm here with our president, Crystal Albrecht. Today, we'll be talking to her about some questions about her college. Hi, Dr. Albrecht. Hey there, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. So it's Friday. It is Friday. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Yes. Are you excited? I am. I'm all in my red. I and see you look you nice in your red. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and it's school colors. Yes, fins up. <laughs> So where did you go to community college? How did you know I went to community college? You're a president. You are the bomb.com. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> so I went to community college in a small community college part of the SUNY system in upstate New York called Jefferson Community College. And uh, it was a great experience for me. And I, I uh, studied medical laboratory technology. And uh, while I was there, I actually was a student worker. And I worked in the, in the lab and prepared uh, you know, fruit flies for the biology department experiments, <laughs> and, uh, poured auger media for the microbiology labs and all, all sorts of things like that. And I also worked at the switchboard at the college back, you know, when they had switchboards. So, back in the yeah, day. Back in the day, yeah. And the interesting thing, I ended up teaching at that college. I was a full-time, I became a full-time tenured faculty member years oh, later. Oh, wow. It's kind of cool. That's cool. Yeah. Really cool. So, Brittany, I think you have some questions for Dr. Albrecht as what well. What did you study in well, college? So, medical laboratory technology, which is a tr was a two-year degree program to train me to go out into work in a hospital lab generally. That's what you would do is work in a hospital laboratory. And I did that. I finished uh, my college degree program in two years. It wasn't when I started out to study. I should, I'll go back and tell you that. But I finished the program in two years and went out to work in, uh, in a laboratory, got a job right away, and then realized that, you know, I really need to get some more education because the two years was going to just keep me right at that tech level in the mm -hmm. lab and I really wanted to do more and be more and so I ended up going back to college. But really my first job, that, or first uh, educational program that I was going to pursue was to be a speech pathologist and audiologist. I had, I had taken um, ballet classes with a deaf boy who um, I just was so impressed with that whole thing, how he could dance, what he couldn't hear, the music and everything, and I learned sign language, and I toured the deaf school in town, and I went off to study, and then I did one semester, and I said, this is not for me, because, I mean, I'm glad that there are people that work that work with deaf folks, but um, many times people who are deaf also have other multiple handicaps, mm -hmm. and I just wasn't the kind of person I don't think that would have been as successful working with that mm -hmm. population, so I said, you know what, I need to go back to what I love doing, which is science, and and so that's why I chose the medical technology career. What student clubs and organizations were you a part of? Um, well, when I was at community college, I was in the drama club. You would Yay! appreciate that. And uh, <laughs> yes, um, I was really horrible. Uh, I had oh. this one role. <laughs> I had a role as a, I was a, um, a maid, and I had to carry this tray out and say a couple of words, and I tripped going up the steps. No. It, was, it was horrific. You had but one job. <laughs> I had one job to do, and I would. Yes, yeah, in the drama club, that was short-lived. And then I was editor of the yearbook, which was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed um, working on that project, and I had I had done some of that work, kind of work in high school, and I carried it into college. A yearbook for college? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I didn't even know your like colleges still had. Oh well, this was a long time ago. Oh, okay. I mean, this was like you know in the late seventies. <laughs> so yeah. But then when I went and transferred on for my four-year degree, um, I just didn't really have time to belong to student clubs because I was working three jobs and putting myself through school, and um, so I didn't really do anything uh, other than you know just hang out with my friends. But it was. One of my jobs, again, was working in the lab at the college. So that was kind of, you know, that kept me engaged. Mm -hmm. And then um, then I would work um, nights and, and weekends in the hospital lab. So it was great. Another great thing about community college is because I did that first two years, I didn't have to work at McDonald's. No offense to anybody who has to work at McDonald's, but I could actually work in a real career field, mm -hmm. you know, at a lower level while I was continuing my education to advance. So it was, it was really wonderful. That's cool. So what's the best thing about being a college president? You mean like besides getting to hang out with you guys? <laughs> yes, yeah, besides. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, there's <laughs> so many great things about working at a community college, period. But, um, you know, getting getting to, to be here and, and really feel like like all the employees do, that we get to make it have an impact on people's lives, hopefully in a very positive way. You know, we're helping people change their lives by <laughs> coming to college and earning their degree and then going out and doing wonderful things in the world. So, and I, you know, and, I, and in this position, I get to maybe have um, 
a little more influence over the way that occurs, you know, about how the organization runs and, uh, and, and contribute in that, in that way. But I think any of us that work in a community college are just blessed to be able to, to be part of students' lives oh and watch them on that journey. Absolutely. I couldn't have said that better. <laughs> That's perfect, exactly. Yeah, it's wonderful to be here. I mean, I've devoted my life, my life's work to, to being at a community college, and, and it's been just wonderful. Well, we're happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Me too. Uh, so what's the one thing about yourself that ACC students would be surprised to know about you? Well, I think I saw it on your face when you came into my office today. When you looked up here, oh, you yeah. saw those drum roll, those please. <laughs> those nettles, yes. So I have run uh, since I started running. I didn't run my whole life. I just started running like when I was in my 40s. So in the last, since 2000, 2002, I ran my first marathon. And yes, a marathon is 26. 0.2 miles, and uh, since that time I've run 37 uh, marathons wow. in that amount. And this is my last one right here, this big one. Well, that beats my treadmill run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I first started out running, I couldn't run around the block without stopping. I'm serious. I couldn't, I couldn't run around the block. But my kids, my oldest kids, were in high school and they were in track and cross country, and, and I bought a treadmill and I said, okay, I'm just going to start walking. And then they were they were very encouraging. And then my husband said, "Hey, let's let's run some more. Maybe go in a marathon." I'm like, "Are you crazy? I could never run a marathon." <laughs> and then we just did it. And then we just can't seem to stop. Can't stop now. Yeah. We slowed down, and we're doing uh, less marathons. Like I'm probably in the last couple of years, I've only done uh, one a year, but done some shorter ones, like half marathons and five k's and ten k's and things. But yeah, so probably people wouldn't know that I have have run 37 marathons and one 37. one ultra marathon which is ultra marathon is anything that's more than 26.2 wow so um so i did a 50k uh which is really only 31 miles but when you say 50k it sounds like really a lot longer uh, so, but that's the shortest ultra you can do like i have friends that do 50 milers and 100 milers what which takes like 24 hours to run a 100 miler i can't even stay awake 24 hours <laughs> let much less run 24 hours but i'm so 24 hours like yeah isn't that crazy that is that's pretty intense <laughs> yeah <laughs> man indeed. your legs must look great okay wow is there anything new and exciting students should be looking forward to? Well, um, there's a lot of things that I'm excited about. <laughs> I don't know if they would necessarily be exciting to you, but um, lots of things going on. One of them is uh, the college is going to be undertaking a strategic planning process where we will be developing a plan that will guide us over the next five years with like big major goals and then other other smaller goals to Im to improve processes and things that we already have in place but um, one of one of the parts of that is that we will be doing a facility master plan where we will be assessing the current state of our facilities here and looking for uh, what we might do to renovate repair remodel um, modernize some of the facilities maybe look toward do we need are there any other programs that we need on this campus mm -hmm. and also as part of that we, we have asked the architect we will ask the architectural firm to look at other locations where there may be a need for us to expand our campus for instance the bulk of our growth is really occurring on the over on the 288 corridor um, as we see City of Houston kind of moving down Highway 288. Way. Yes, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know we have taxpayers that are paying us taxes over there that we really ought to be serving, and so we'll ha we're asking them oh, to great. look over there to see where, where should where should we be uh, down in the future. And um, let's see, we may we have a location in the Pearland Center. You may know that, yes. and we are in the process of uh, selling that which is also exciting. Um, that's been on the market since December and we have lots of lots of interest in the property so we're looking forward to being able to sell that and, and put the money maybe to use on a, on a new, uh, new facility somewhere. So very exciting uh, things for me and exploring again what are the new programs that we might need uh, for Alvin Community College, what are some gaps? What are areas that we're not providing business, business and industry with the kind of employees that they need? So, see now, that's all really exciting to me. But you're probably going <laughs> like, that's exciting. Um, excitement is expansion like a, a is new always club. exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, those are some of the things that are going um, that are going on that um, big picture wise that we're looking at here, and I, that I'm really excited about. Well, I'm excited about it. Yeah, I am and, too. I, and 
and you can, you know, of course you'll be graduated and long gone, but you can come back and see what, what we do. Like, hey, I went there. Yeah, <laughs> I went there. I remember way back when, yeah. So, oh yeah, gosh, that's really way good. back when. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, look forward to, uh, you know, continuing to recruit and attract wonderful students like yourselves and provide them with a great educational opportunities here. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you Flattered. so much for letting us talk to you today. And we were really happy to kind My of get pleasure. to know where you came from. Yeah, uh, go where I run to. <laughs> where she's running to with her shopping bags. Will you help us sign off the dolphin dish today? With the fins up? Yes. Alrighty, I'm there. Ready? Fins, fins up! up. <laughs>